and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some all in fizz. That's right, we're going to start off Meme Tier Monday today with playing the all in fizz deck where uh, fizz is basically going to be our only thing doing damage. We got three fizz, and then for our only other unit in the deck, we got three Starlet Seer. Um, which we're going to be using to cast all the spells in our deck and pumping up Fizz. Hopefully, hopefully the top ally of our deck is Fizz. Sometimes it'll be Starlet's here. Um, so combining those two with just tons and tons of spells, we have Entreat to help us go find Fizz. Also Shared Spoils, if we can turn on Plunder, draw one of the top three units of our deck, that will also help us dig to go find Fizz. Um, and then we're going to be, yeah, pumping up Fizz with Starlet Seer and then using like pump spells. We got three Battle Furies in here that will be take, uh, you know, being able to have us take them down. Um, pretty sweet little Fizz deck. Uh, we have some things to get some more blockers, you know, with, with spells with Double Trouble to get us two random one cost followers and Jailbreak to get us a random one cost follower. So you can still have like some blockers and some more units in combat, but we're playing spells for that. We have pick a card to give us some card advantage, and that's kind of about it. All right, so here we go. All in Fizz. Meme Tier Monday, we're going to be playing over in Normal today. Just having a good time, relaxing, playing in Normal. We're going to play five games like we always play five games. Um, and, <clears throat> and that's what we got. Uh, later up on, on the docket... Ooh, this looks like a pretty good hand. We're going to... I think we can get rid of the Entreat. They would just draw another Fizz. I mean, it's kind of safe for... It's kind of safe to have a second Fizz, though. Um, I'm keeping the other three. It's just whether or not I want to keep Entreat. I think... I'm going to Mulligan. So I'm definitely glad that we have Warning Shot to be able to protect the Fizz on turn one. I don't expect their deck to have anything on turn one, but you never know. Somebody's just playing like a Blade's Edge randomly. You never know. Um... Oh, well, those are some good ones. Especially the Mage Seer Conservator. That's a really good one. That's maybe like the best one drop to hit, maybe. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall. It's your only purpose to annoy me. Definitely like that. By snow and stars. Big blade for a little warrior. Right, yep. I definitely want to keep the zero mana warning shot. Yeah, keeping that. And now we have... Now we have the pick a card also. Or like the elixir iron. Now we have the elixir of iron also. Oh. I'm cast that. Oh, an auspicious season. I'm not going to need a second. So I'm not going to need a second Battle Fury, but I guess we're going to get one.
Because basically I want Battle Fury is 8 plus the Dragon Fizz is 4, so that is 12. Search then. Stay back. Hmm. That's unfortunate. I can't brittle steal that thing. Archwinds is a good one. I'm gonna use all my mana and just cast Battle Fury right now. We'll see how that works out. Looks like that's going to work out pretty well. See, I mean, they could have three things that stun. Nope. All right, seventeen, eleven, fizz. See, that's that's our deck. We are all in on the fizz. Those of y'all that, you know, no poker references, I guess. But yeah, we just push all the chips in, put everything on the fizz, and roll the dice. Festival kit. All right, we got finished up with the Spirit Blossom event with 15 days remaining. All right, where's our all in Fizz deck? There it is. <laughs> I hate Fizz in League of Legends, and now I hate Fizz in Legends of Runeterra. No, Fizz is, Fizz is great. Okay, Quillabot says change the pet to the, the new kit. And change the guardian. Alright, we will do that. I'm gonna mulligan all these. I, I think you really need to look for Starlet Seer and Fizz. You know, obviously you need Fizz, but Starlet Seer is another really good one to have. I'm not gonna play the jailbreak right now, I'm gonna wait till after we have some Starlet Seers. Yeah, do you think my opponent cut Shadow Assassin out of the deck? And then didn't have any blockers or fizz, maybe. Possibly. We're good at drawing Battle Fury. We see through all. Get bloody, get paid. Dang. Really good at drawing Battle Fury. We've drawn, last game we drew three Battle Furies, this game we drew three Battle Furies. This would be a good winter. Oh man, we're gonna Battle Fury some Prowling Cutthroats. I'll be quick. Today, I suppose. So I'm blocking the 1-1 so they can't uh, challenge my 2-1 with the 1-1. Oh, 
open wide. Sugar. Hmm. Definitely wish I had one more mana. I could battle fury. That was a waste of turn. Why do they have all this life steal? How's my 1 1 supposed to race 6 life steal? played one spell with the three starlets here, so our, our top thing is only going to get plus one, plus one right now. Um, they're definitely setting up for Withering Whale, right? Like, that's what they're trying to do, is, like, set up for Withering Whale with this challenge here. Um, that's going to leave me with two one health starlets ears. I, I don't love that. Blessed by snow and stars, this will be a good winter. An auspicious season. So I'm doing that right now. Oh, what that's about. I'm doing those right now. So that um you know, you know there could have been a, a withering whale. I could have waited. I just wanted to do that before the other Starlet Seer went, so we got those extra two Starlet Seer triggers. So we got nine total triggers on the next thing. So like if we draw a fizz, it will be plus nine plus nine. Our Starlet Seers are gone, so Fizz is the only unit left. This will be a good winter. You won't feel it first. These eyes see all. The other, yeah, the one, the Starlet Seer that I didn't save had vulnerable. And so I didn't save that one. The depths is really good. And their hand was great. For a deep deck, they got got everything you want in a deep deck. Alright, maybe pick a card, we'll go find Battle Fury for us. Or sorry, sorry, go find uh, Fizz for us. Oh no. Alright, so we had a Fizz that was gonna be plus eleven plus eleven, but now it just got obliterated. So I can't cast pick a card anymore. I refuse to wilt. Fly away while you can. So now we're all in cutthroat. All in prowling cutthroat. Fizz. Come on, Fizz. 
Open wide, sure. So furious. The 25 6 Prowling Cutthroat. So furious. <laughs> oh, I was so worried that they were going to have vengeance. I was so worried. I did not want to see a vengeance. And uh, yeah, I was, I was thinking that that's what they were going to do. All right, we just got to change the Guardian to the Festival Kit. Dang. <laughs> Y'all ever have a 25 power Prowling Cutthroat? <laughs> okay, so there's no... There's no Fizz here, but I guess we, I mean, we could keep Warding Shot and then double Shared Spoils and draw them. But then I, but then I have like no spells to go along with my stuff. I'm going to just mulligan everything. Right, because that, then that like wastes our entire hand just to draw the champs. This is probably a bad matchup because this looks like an aggressive Noxus deck. We, we want to play against slower decks. Our deck is great against slower decks because... Uh, they can't use their removal on our Fizz. We've played against two slower decks so far. That makes my Mega Rain a lot worse, also. Hmm. Yay. I'm basically casting that first to get a Starlet Seer trigger first, but then kind of planning on... Oh, come on, really? Oh, man, that was a great Omen Hawk. Man, turn three? Yuck. That one did get the plus one, plus one from Starlet Seer. No, not looking good. That that hand was is incredible. Turn one open hawk, turn two, Legion Grenadier, turn three, pumped up Crimson Disciple, and Legion Saboteur. That's an incredible hand. For the Empire. Sure, why not? We're gonna have to do some blocking with Fizz, not something that we'd normally like to do. The only reason I can think of not to attack with Crimson Disciple there is if they have like two more Imperial Demolitionists, but I also don't know why they wouldn't just... Uh, do play those. Um, do I battle fury next turn? 
Six, seven, eight, nine. Battle Fury takes all but one mana. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna pocket aces this turn. And Battle Fury next turn and have the warning shot be protection. So now they just need like a transfusion or something to win. Which they likely have because they just didn't attack with the Crimson Disciple. I mean, I don't know. They have Decimate. I don't know why they didn't attack with the Crimson Disciple anyway, but. We're gonna try. We would have a turn six kill here if they don't have transfusion. Stun? That's it? Just stun? Is that it? Oh yeah, transfusion only does one damage. That's right. I forgot. Crimson Disciple only does one. How? Why did they not attack with the Crimson Disciple? I don't know. The ocean wins again. One more for Fizz. <clears throat> yeah, definitely a misplay. Definitely should have um, attacked at the Crimson Disciple also. I mean, yeah. Like, they had the Decimate. Okay. Good mulligans. Hey, Harvey. Well, basically, I guess besides the first game, the, we kept the, our hand the first game, but then the second, third, fourth games, we've mulliganed all four cards each time. See the Demacian border from here. We have two warning shots for protection. Safeguard our homes. Get him, Fizz. Get him, Fizz. So do I do the shared spoils thing? Is it worth is it even worth going warning shot shared spoils? It says no. Yeah, if we don't do that we can battle fury next turn, but battle fury is just 12 damage. Right? So that'll be third. So if we draw a warning. Or let's see. I can make it lethal. I can make it lethal next turn. Right? I just have to waste Elixir of Iron right now. pretty risky. I don't think I have to just go for lethal next turn, I don't think. Nothing what do y'all think? Because going for lethal, I have, like, no backup, because I, I have to, like, play four spells and level up Fizz and get that extra point there. So I have, like, no, I have no protection if I go for lethal. I don't know. 
They're playing Callista Thrash. No, the the, the the warning shots can't be post combat because I need I need the the point to level up Fizz. Yeah, and any spell would stop lethal if I if I would just go all out. I'd have to do every. I'd have to do like throw the warning shots pre combat and everything. Stilgar, thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. So going, so going the long way. We're only gonna do, only doing uh, twelve here. If we would have drawn the third warning shot, still could have gone for it. We'll just go. We'll go the slow route. Thanks, Dilgar. Brand new Twitch Prime sub. That's amazing. Thank you. Our first sub of the day. You weren't always this way. Alright, well, they definitely seem like they had a spell. Like some kind of spell. Because, yeah, like any kind of spell basically would have stopped us. Like a Grass, the Undying, a Withering Whale. And Bile Feast. I just have to hopefully not die. Like, I don't want to see Thresh. That's 12 damage. Like, so if they have Thresh. I can get I can get another blocker, though, with the Shared Spoils. Safeguard our own. Fear of the North kills me. Hopefully they don't have that. Yay, no Fear of the North. <clears throat> Alright, feeling pretty good about this game about now. Year of Dubs, another brand new sub. Getting that tier one in here. Yo, that is great. Thank you so much, Year of Dubs. That's awesome. Two new subs today. Yeah, should be game. I was going to waste all that mana anyway. The signal fires. Yeah, people are just, like, a lot of people are just used to going straight to combat. But a lot of the times... Um... A lot of times they shouldn't be going straight to combat. Like they should be playing more things, especially against like a com especially against a combo deck like this. Like you could just play out more things than attack. You get more more power out there. Thanks, Hero Dubs. Thank you. Here, Sharky Sharky. All right, another win for the Fizz. <laughs> We have also played against zero elusive creatures, which makes life a lot easier. There's not been a single elusive unit on the opponent's side in any of these four games, and so that makes life a lot easier. <laughs> hey, GG's there, Pyro. Yeah, we got our, our Cheeky Fizz deck. Oh, usually, oh, I can't, it won't let me cancel. Cancel? Okay. Here we go, we're gonna go over to ranked. 
I forgot our rule. If we're if we play a meme tier deck and we're 4-0 in normal, then we go over to ranked. For the Yeah, that's what yeah, I had that rule like from like last week or the week before, something like that. It's Oh, you don't you don't like that Lynx? You don't It's good to have it tested over there in in, in ranked, right? Nah, we'll be fine. You're saying we just lose the Twisted Fate? Nah, we'll be fine. Bounty knows me now. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Let's get to it. We'll be fine. I think warning shot as protection is super valuable. So I want to keep that. Yeah, hopefully no elusives. <clears throat> Never know, they're gonna throw out like whatever the, the cat card is. Not not catastrophe, but the other one. The elusive one. That's one mana. Definitely considering just going warning shot there, because it does seem like they're they're gonna have multiple things, and then I'd have shared spoils for the next one. And go that route, and then probably should have gone that route. Then I have pocket aces here proactively. Okay. Good. Jailbreak proactively. Safety will cost you. This is gonna be fun. Dang. It stole my brittle steel. I can't kill them next turn now, especially with that Brittle Steel. So we have to survive two turns. That's going to be problematic. That'd be kind of problematic.
No, this isn't killing them. And I was kind of debating whether or not to just play Warning Shot to level up Fizz. That brittle steel really hurt. Like without that brittle steel, we would have just we you know we would have won right here. They would have been dead. But it looks like now we're dead. Brittle steel hurt quite a bit. I hope they just go straight to combat. No. Nope. is mine and mine alone. Well, gotta hope they can't do one point of damage, which isn't very likely, but you never know. No. That was close. I mean, honestly, if they... Like, them stealing that, that Brittle Steel won them that game. Like, if they just steal anything else. Right? Anything else in the whole deck? Yeah, like we would have been fine with them stealing literally anything else in the entire deck. <laughs> it's okay, Lynx. It's okay. Uh, but yeah, so there we go. That was a, that was definitely a fun deck. I mean, I think it's it's you know like we were four and zero over in normal. It's okay to go play a game in ranked, and uh, you know kind of see how it does there. I think that's that's something that a lot of people like seeing um and you know we were right there we we just got unlucky with them stealing the only card in our whole deck to keep them alive um but they did uh so yeah we're that that close to a 5-0 to be fair we should you know like the the noxus one we we probably should have won my opponent just needed to attack and they didn't um <laughs> so so that's all right um Pretty, you know, real fun deck that here though. Like, you know, you just like to to, uh, you know, if you're a fan of Fizz and just want to throw all your spells on Fizz and just try to win games, uh, like super close games, like just barely win them with a huge Fizz uh, being all elusive and killing your opponent, then this is the deck for you. Make sure you hard mulligan for Fizz, as you saw, like whenever we're mulliganing in those games. Uh, if we don't have Fizz. In all four, you can you can keep Starlet Seer, but basically I'm not keeping anything else. Obviously, you can keep Entreat because that's that's Fizz, um, but we're not really keeping the other cards because so many of these cards are kind of in interchangeable. Um, uh, let's see, um, but yeah, I think that's that's all I got here. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Also, let me know what you think of the all-in Fizz deck or anything else. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.